Hey guys, how you doing? We're just making another video here. Uh, Corbin wanted me to say that he's not going to be in this video. Didn't want to be in the video. Alright, Corbin said he was busy and he's setting up some stuff so he cannot be in the video at this time. I just want to make a video because I was uh, nicely invited into a vinyl trading group on Facebook and met a bunch of cool guys with a lot of cool stuff and they're into vinyl like I am and I uh, made my first trade and I got this. It's a little hard to see, it's in plastic. I didn't want to take it out of the plastic. Corbin's not in this video. Move your bird over there, buddy. <clears throat> so this is what I got. I didn't want to take this out of plastic because it's got a cool little thing on here. I'll tell you later what that says. But this is the soundtrack to Return of the Living Dead. Uh, very cool album. And actually, it was a kind of an important album in my young childhood. Uh, not only is it a really crazy good movie, if you're into zombie movies uh, like I am, and I was when I was very young, it is... Um, Really cool. This came out at night. I actually had to trade uh, an old JFA album I had for this, and uh, which is because this goes from fifty bucks on on line right now, and um, my JFA album I traded it for goes for around fifty bucks too. It's actually uh, the second <coughs> untitled, it's, it's the second uh, twelve inch LP. It is uh, one of the harder ones to find. It's an untitled album by Daddy, JFA, and uh, I give that up. The birds in the video. All right. So this came out in 1985. It was a soundtrack to the movie, and at that time in my life, I was always I was heavy into heavy metal, but I was just getting my start on hardcore punk music and stuff from my skate guys that I hung out with. Um, so I was into Ramones and you know the what we like to call the training wheels punk bands and stuff. Um, <clears throat> Uh, faction because they were a skate band and stuff that you know social distortion and some other bands that people are into but when this album came out I remember seeing the commercials on TV and the commercials were really cool they had um, they had the song by 45 grave in the commercial and um, and just really cool it was kind of a heavy metal sound and song and stuff but I ended up uh, got the soundtrack because I think I got the soundtrack before I saw the movie and it was just incredible because not only did it have 45 Grave, it turned me on to a lot of other cool stuff. Uh, the Cramps. I, I never really knew about The Cramps. And uh, TSOL, The Flesh Eaters. Flesh Eaters are really, uh, really cool band. And I got an album of theirs that's, uh, from this album. SSQ, The Damned, um, Jet Black Berries, uh, Roy Erickson. So a lot of cool stuff uh, on this album. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, the, the the one main reason I didn't want to take plastic off is one, it's just protecting the album, but two, it's got this really cool thing on it. It says, uh, Return of the Living Dead original soundtrack ingredients, the medulla oblongata rigor mortis, eight previously unreleased blood bubbling horror show tunes by the Cramps, the Dan Rocky Erickson, TSOL, 45 Grave, Tall Boys, and SSQ, Thrills, Spills, and Chills. Bone Saw, Split Dogs, 245 Trioxin, plus more ghoulish misbehaviors from the Jet Black Bear, Berries, and the Flesh Eaters. Warning, listening to the soundtrack will cause uncontrollable and ravenous desire to eat brains. Pretty cool. So 1985, this album made a big... Um, the cassette I had, I wore it out. I think I still got it downstairs somewhere. I, I love that cassette. And so I was real happy to get this as my first album on my vinyl trade. So, I appreciate it. Very cool. And, um, oh, as far as uh, what the, what comes with the album, it's not one of those really fantastic fold-out with a lot of stuff on it, but it did come with a really cool, um, I like when albums come with stuff, and that's the big bonus of getting the album, is that they come with cool stuff. I don't know if I can see. It's basically got an order form. Uh, this camera stinks. There we go. Get an order form so you can order stuff from the album. This advertised albums by the Cramps and 45 Grave, TSOL, SSQ, bands that are on the album and stuff. So you can order other albums. You can get uh, t-shirts for the movie and stuff like that. So really cool. And there's my son Corbin who's not in this video. That's why we did acknowledge him. 
No, no, they just see it. They just oh. see the bird. Thanks, guys, for letting me on the uh, vinyl trading website. And then you just say shoot, Hopefully, shoot, uh, shoot for I can the do bird. some more stuff, and I get some 45s. I'm going to show you uh, later that hopefully you, you guys will like. You have to say shoot, 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 and just wave at it. You have to say shoot. All right, you want to say goodbye, Corby? No, you, you, have to say sh you have to say sh shoot, 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 bird. That's the Bill Cosby album. That's Corbin's album. You want to say anything, boy, who's not in this video? I'm talking a video. Oh, he's not saying anything because he's not in this video. You never saw him. You think you saw him? He wasn't there. That's why I didn't see him. I never saw him once. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a nice... You guys have a nice... And I'll see you later.